customizing forms, such as sales orders, packing slips, and more. All Orders gives the users the ability to customize their reports without having to export the data to Access or another destination. All Orders is packaged with many templates, reports, and labels. You use the Report Designer to customize your templates and reports to suit your needs. The Report Designer is fully integrated with All Orders. In other words, you do not need a separate software to print reports. When the name of the report is bold, it means that this is a packaged report from All Orders and cannot be modified. You can use the report as is, or you can make any number of copies and then modify the copy. When the report name is blue, that is the default report. This report is shown next to the print box when you open its entry form. For example, the default report for the sales order entry form is sales order. One of the first things you probably want to do is design your sales orders template so you can print or email it to your customers. So let's do that now. Click on the word sales order and on the right side you will see the default design of the sales order. Click the copy report button or you could use the view menu. Copy report is the eighth item in the list. Either way, you will be prompted for the name of your template copy. For example, my sales order. The name of the report must be unique. When all orders finishes copying, you will see the name you gave to the report in the report's tree view. Click on the new name to load that copy onto the Modify Design tab. Next, I am going to make my sales order the default template on the sales order. Click the Is Default Report button. The word My Sales Order should turn blue. Let's prevent all orders from printing the word My Sales Order on your template. The report title is a special label that all orders will automatically populate with the name of the report. We'll simply change the name of the label to something other than Report Title. First, click on the Sales Order label. Click the View Property List button. This will show the Properties panel of the label on the right. The properties control the behavior of each label or data field on a template or control. Highlight the Name property and we'll just add a 1 to the end. Click the Save button. Now we're going to add a logo. Your logo should be in standard image format, JPEG, GIF, or PNG, and be no more than 100 kilobytes. The larger the image, the longer it will take to load your template. First, press the Image Control button. While the Image button is pressed, move your mouse over into the Design area. Then, release your button. You will see that your mouse pointer turns into a cross. Click and hold the left mouse button and draw a box. In the Properties list, click Picture, and to the right is a dot 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 box. Select your logo image. Select To Zoom for the Size Mode property, then press the Save button. Now we're going to modify some information that is on our new default template. First, we're going to add a standard message that we want printed on all sales orders that says, Thank you for your order. Second, we're going to remove the FOB field. And last, we're going to add a custom field that was created. Now see the video setting up custom fields for further information. We already used an image control to add our logo to My Sales Orders. To add text, we use a label control as follows. Click the Label button. While the Label button is pressed, move your mouse over into the Design area. We'll place ours under the Memo field. Release the mouse button and now your mouse pointer turns into a cross. Click and hold the left mouse button and draw a rectangle. In the Properties list, click the word Caption. Next to it, delete the current contents and type in your new message. 
click the bold button, center button, and change the font. Now click the Save button. The other type of control you will be using frequently is called a field control. A field control is tied to a specific field on the data entry form. In this case, a field uses data from a specific sales order and displays or prints it out. All the fields that are available for a given template are contained in the fields list. You show the fields list by clicking the fields list button or from the menu select design and fields list. Now back to the example. Here are the steps to first delete the FOB field and second add a custom field sales order cust1 which I use to put in a job number. To delete a field within the report designer, click the field until it's highlighted, then click the delete button or right click and delete. There are two ways to add a custom field. First we can find sales order cust1 in the fields list. Drag and drop it into the report designer in the area you want it to appear. Right click and add a border. or we can copy another formatted box and place it. Click on Properties and change the data field and text to Sales Order Cust 1. Using the property list, change the caption from FOB to Job Number. Preview your report or reopen the sales order just for review. We removed the FOB and replaced it with the custom field job number I previously created. Now print your new report.